Another story we're watching. Pro-Palestinian protesters say they will speak out in about 30 minutes about their encampment on DePaul's campus being taken down. Police moved in this morning, taking down tents and moving the protesters out of the quad. CBS 2's Andrew Ramos is on campus where students are regrouping. We need It was just after 5.30 a.m. when chaos and confusion swept through the quad at DePaul University. A student who filmed the raid by CPD providing the footage to CBS2. as students tried to block entry, but officers pushed through. Wake up! Someone is heard running through the campground, waking others up, warning them about the situation unfolding. Police officers moved fast, dismantling tents, ripping down signs, and clearing the area. University President Robert Manuel gave law enforcement the green light after deeming the situation on campus unsafe. Some students who we spoke to say they were left traumatized. We know where your money goes. After the raid, students quickly regrouped, taking their movement across the street to a gas station. The university outlined what it considered threats to safety and disruption of campus operations on its website, highlighting altercations and criminal activity on campus grounds, disclosing that more than 1,000 complaints were reported by students, faculty, parents, and members of the community, while one death threat was made. 34 reports of anti-Semitism were logged, as well as four credible threats of violence and a dozen incidents of criminal property damage. The noise emanating from the campsite also a major problem from community members. Meanwhile, student activists maintained that they were the ones targeted for exercising their right to protest. I've seen people being put, like shoved around by counter protesters while CPD, DePaul administration and DePaul Public Safety does absolutely nothing. You know, the day that the encampment went up, one of the first signs that went up said, Jewish safety cannot be guaranteed until Palestine is free. And so immediately I knew that we weren't safe. Now, despite all the chaos that unfolded here this morning, no arrests were made. However, Chicago police do tell us two people were arrested for obstructing traffic off campus. That's the latest from here in Lincoln Park. Andrew Ramos, CBS 2 News.